how to operate on different computers. Module 3 Overview Operating on Windows Operating on Mac Customization Exercise Finding where things are exercise General Upkeep Learning Objectives Identify the key differences in operating systems between different computers. Demonstrate how to navigate and perform basic functions on different operating systems. An introduction to Windows Introduction Windows is a popular operating system developed by Microsoft. It is used on a wide range of devices, including desktops, laptops, and tablets. Windows offers a user-friendly interface that is easy to navigate and comes with a variety of pre-installed applications and software including a web browser, media player, and productivity tools. Right-click controls Open The open control opens the file or folder you right-clicked on. It is the default action for most items. This control is useful for quickly opening files and folders without having to navigate through multiple folders. Cut Cutting removes the selected text or image and places it on the clipboard. Select the text or image you want to move. Right-click and select Cut, or use the keyboard shortcut, Ctrl plus X. Copy Copying makes a copy of the selected text or image and places it on the clipboard. Select the text or image you want to copy. Right-click and select Copy or use the keyboard shortcut, Ctrl plus C. Paste Pasting inserts the text or image from the clipboard into the new location. Move the cursor to the new location where you want to insert the text or image. Right click and select Paste or use the keyboard shortcut, Ctrl plus V. You can paste the text or image as many times as you want. Delete The delete control removes the item from your computer. Be careful while using this control as the item cannot be restored once deleted. It is important to confirm that you want to delete the item before using this control. Rename The rename control allows you to change the name of the item. You can change the name of a file or folder according to your preference. This control can be useful for organizing your files and folders more effectively. Properties The Properties control displays properties and details of the item, such as file size creation date, and location. 
It provides you with valuable information about the item that can be useful in various scenario. Understanding the properties of an item can help you troubleshoot issues and optimize your workflow. SIN2 The SIN2 control allows you to quickly send the item to a specific location, such as a folder or email recipient. This can save you time and make your work more efficient. You can customize the locations available in the Send to menu to suit your preferences. Create a shortcut The Create a Shortcut control creates a shortcut to the item on your desktop or in a specific location. This can be useful for frequently accessed items. Shortcuts can be easily customized to suit your preferences and workflow. Open with and scan with your antivirus program. The open with control allows you to open the item with a different program than the default program. This can be useful if the default program is not compatible with the item. The scan with your antivirus program control allows you to scan the item with your antivirus program, ensuring the item is safe and free from any viruses or malware. Left click controls. Selecting items. To select an item, click on it once with the left mouse button or tap it once with a finger on the touchpad. This will highlight the item and you can perform actions like copying, cutting, or deleting it. Opening Files and Folders To open a file or folder, Double click on it with the left mouse button or tap it twice with a finger on the touchpad. This will open the file or folder in its default program or application. Clicking buttons and links. To click on a button or link, simply left click on it once. This will perform the desired action, such as submitting a form or opening a new web page. Dragging and dropping To move files, folders, or other items from one location to another, click on the item with the left mouse button, hold it down and drag it to the desired location. Once you reach the location, release the left mouse button to drop the item. Multi-touch gestures If you're using a touch screen or touchpad, you can use various multi-touch gestures to perform different actions with a left click function. For example, a single finger tap to left click, a two finger tap to right click, or a three finger swipe to switch between applications. Customization Change your desktop background the desktop background is the image that appears behind your icons and files on the desktop. To change it, right click on the desktop and select Personalize. 
You can choose from pre-installed wallpapers or set your picture as the background. Change your color scheme. The color scheme refers to the overall look and feel of your operating system. To change it, go to Personalize and select Colors. You can choose from various accent colors for your operating system and start the menu. Customize your taskbar. The taskbar is the bar at the bottom of your screen that shows open applications and icons. To customize it, right click on the taskbar and select taskbar settings. From here, you can choose which icons to show, group similar icons, and adjust other settings. Adjust your display settings. Display settings refer to how your screen looks, including the resolution, scaling, and orientation. To adjust these settings, go to Settings and select System. From here, you can customize your display settings to your liking. Customize your Start Menu. The Start Menu is the menu that appears when you click on the Start button in the bottom left corner of your screen. To customize it, right click on the Start Menu and select Settings. From here, you can adjust the layout and appearance of your Start Menu. Adjust your sound settings. Sound settings refer to how your computer's sound is set up, including the volume, sound device, and other audio related settings. To adjust these settings, go to Settings, select System, and then select Sound. From here, you can customize your sound settings to your liking. Install themes. Themes are pre-made packages that can change the overall look and feel of your operating system. You can download and install third-party themes from trusted sources. To install a theme, Simply follow the instructions provided by the theme's creator. Toolbar Start button Usually located on the left side of the toolbar. Opens the Windows Start menu. Provides access to programs files, and settings on your computer. Task View button Usually located next to the Start button. Allows you to switch between open applications and virtual desktops. Helps you keep your workspace organized and efficient. Search box. Usually located on the right side of the toolbar. Allows you to search for files, applications, and settings on your computer. Provides a quick and easy way to find what you need without having to navigate through multiple folders. Notification Center button Usually located on the far right side of the toolbar. Allows you to see your computer's notifications, such as new emails, 
software updates, or security alerts. Provides important information and alerts to help you stay on top of your computer's activities. Program icons You can add icons for frequently used applications to the toolbar for quick access. Provides easy access to your favorite programs without having to search for them. Helps you save time and be more productive. System Tray Located on the far right side of the toolbar. Displays icons for running programs and system utilities. Provides quick access to system settings, such as the clock, volume control, and Wi-Fi signal strength indicator. Keep watching. Thank you.